I taste the chili because it's cut like it's like I'm not. Mmm. You can't even subtitle that. What'd you say? Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we are here in Seoul, South Korea. I am with Rydia Kim, and we are taking on the spiciest food this place has to offer. Let's do it. And let's uh, get out of traffic. <laughs> I've lived in Korea for about eight years, and in that time, I noticed the local people seem to think the food is far too spicy for foreigners. First of all, how do you handle spice? You know, I thought about bringing adult diapers today, for real. Korea's main source of heat comes from gochujang, or red chili paste. And I feel my throat closing. Yeah, Is that normal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this video, Rydia and I are taking on three levels of spice, with each level getting progressively hotter. Today, I want to find out definitively, can foreigners handle spicy food in Korea? Let's go find out. Why can't we face it? Keep on our first location has the most beautiful blend of cheese and spice that I have ever seen. Rydia, can you tell me and everybody else what we're eating right now? It's because he cannot say it himself, but it is cheese sun sai da. Okay, cool. It sounds like you can't really say it either. Why'd you say it like that? Bu means fire. Doc is chicken. That's all you gotta know. Uh, Sun Sai means just, just boneless chicken. This restaurant has been graced by dozens of Korean entertainers, like this guy, uh, definitely this guy, and soon to be this guy. Right now, we're in the kitchen, and the, the chicken preparation has begun. This dish starts, of course, with chicken. Then they dump in their spicy fire chicken sauce, which includes red chili paste, plus their own secret flavorful addition. It's slightly spicier than normal gochujang. My spice tolerance went through the roof after India. I had India's hottest pepper. It's called the ghost pepper. No, no! Is it really that bad? I felt my heart beating in my mouth. I can feel like there's something there's something wrong. In your stomach and everything was okay? Well, <laughs> it's all in your head. You won't die. Right now she's sauteing the chicken in this sauce of theirs, and then she's gonna put it on the skillet with cheese. The cheese here has a bunch of onion, it has some bell peppers. That actually looks super delicious. Oh, the parsley is really important. That's gonna really bring out the heat profile. So from here, we're gonna go to the table and voiceover and whatever, let's go. Korea is super popular for having meals that you cook at the table. Whether it's Korean barbecue, soups, or this spicy chicken cheese combination. Oh, and it comes with its own little cooking device. Cooking device. Right. I mean, what would you call it? You lived here for like, what, eight years? Oh, wow. And what is it called? I guess, I don't know, mini. Can we put this on 11? We got other stuff to shoot today. As the heat rises, this dish really comes to life, and I can't wait to dig in. Right, let's just grab some cheese, and then let's get some of that spicy chicken and really get that spicy sauce. Oh my god, I knew I should have brought adult diapers. I really should have. I don't know what I was thinking. Extra pair of undies or something. Let's do it. Mmm, oh, that God. tastes wonderful. Mmm. Uh oh. This is level one? The good part went away, and now the bad part remains. Right? Spicy. That's amazing. The cheese is good with the it, right? The cheese is really good with it. It kind of like makes it creamy and like not as spicy. I'm gonna get some of this like red oily sauce. I think it's supposed to be drunk when you eat this. Uh, yeah, we should have a bottle of soju, please. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's, like it's I mean, it's it's 10 a.m. right yeah. The heat is bringing out mm -hmm. the spice. It's not that spicy, mm -hmm. but when you compound it with the heat, mm -hmm. my thick lashes better not fall off crying later. Isn't there a special way to eat when you have lipstick on? Are you supposed to be like? Yes. <laughs> it's a little bit sweet too. It tastes like there's some chili oil in there. The gochujang flavor is very present in there. The spiciness just lives in my chest, in my food tube. It's the spices. <laughs> I'm sweating now. Describe the spice feeling. Oh, jeepers. It is. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, my armpit. My armpit's sweating now. Cheesy, creamy, sweet, but it's got this. Boom. Like it's like an explosion in your tongue, and the chili's just dancing on my tongue right now. That is location one. Spice level tolerable. Can foreigners in Korea handle spice? So far, I say yes. Location two, spice number two. Here we are having some Korean jukumi. Is that right? Yeah. And you're what back. What was that? <laughs> It's my entrance. This place has three spice levels. I'm told that most Korean people get spice level number two. And so that's what we're gonna do, uh, plus one. We're gonna get three, actually. He's trying to kill me. What <laughs> is jukumi? Short-legged octopus. Like that kind of, like a wiener dog? It's like the wiener <laughs> yeah, dogs of octopods. Tell me what you do. Tell me what you do. 
Today's main course starts with jukumi, onion, cabbage, and their signature level 3 in-house spicy sauce. Some sesame oil mixed thoroughly and dumped onto a pan that'll serve as our cooking vessel, but not before the pan is lined with samgyeopsal, or thin slices of pork belly. This is the jukumi with samgyeopsal on the outside. What is this one? There's so many sides here. Oh, yeah, yeah. In Korea, it never takes long for the table to become crowded with side dishes called panchan, even fancy ones. The sesame leaf with some, what is on there? Was that roll? Fish roll. Wow. This is really fancy. Yes. Excuse oh, me. Wow. This spice level, jinjo <laughs> mewa. Will I die? Oh, no, no. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> I'll like uh, it. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, will she die? Yeah, I would die. Along with the unexpected fondue, we've got Korean cheese corn, bean sprouts, mushrooms, sliced radish, vegetables, basically a whole host of options for mixing and matching with our jukumi leaf wrap. They put the pork on the outside, so the pork fat is gonna go down and seep into all the vegetables and all the sauce, and like the pork flavor is gonna meld with all the spicy flavor. Oh, and then that's it. She puts all the pork right in there. And then she's putting in the bean sprouts. It looks relatively quite healthy. I kind of all the way agree. Oh, and this just becomes one big mixed up concoction. So so gochujang is Oh, gochujang is Oh, it's it's uh, chili powder. Like chili? red chili powder. Yeah, chili red. Oh no. <laughs> that's even more spicy. She just brought this. This is the get on team, the steamed egg. She said this is just in case it gets too real and too spicy. Is that what she said? So yes. we've got a sesame leaf with some roe on there. This is very fancy. And then just like normal Korean barbecue, we have a bunch of sides here. We're gonna put in our main kind of protein, our main deal here. Mushrooms, let's go for it. Cheers, darling. Mm hmm it tastes great. Firm octopus, a little chewy. The sesame leaf is very fragrant, very like herby. Right now, I don't feel anything about spicy. It's just so good. This is really level three. What is up with the spice, man? Should we dip this one in the cheese? Let's go crazy. Get a spoonful of yam. Oh, this cheese is thick. It tastes awesome. When you put the creamy cheese in there, it's just, it adds another nice layer to it. Oh my God, it's getting <clears throat> spicy. Really? Yes, sir. This it's time fun. it's coming from behind. She brought us this sauce right here. So let's get one more leaf. It's absolutely delicious, but I, I want to get some of that real spice factor in there. Please. We're going to put this special sauce on there. Look, it's something I do on my show. We call it the last dab, final bite. Cheers. People first, if some just Mmm. Mmm. It's really tasty. Mmm. <laughs> they're looking at you and they're like, is she gonna make it through this moment, are you? I keep having to take my clothes off. Oh my god. It's not that kind of show, but it could be. So what is the consensus? Is it spicy? I think we both think no. This was really cool. I like the spice, but it's like a good spice. It's a fun spice. This is spice. really delicious. I'm gonna finish eating the rest of this and we're gonna head to our next location. Today's spice mission ends here with the ultimate spicy dukboki ramen. This is spicy dukboki. It is like a little cylinder rice cake about that big. And then they're gonna put in this really spicy sauce that is made with gochujang, soy sauce, and some Vietnamese chilies, they said. This dish is also offered with with three levels of spice. So of course, we're going with level three. If this doesn't make me like drop to my knees and start tearing up, then I have to conclude that Korea does not actually have spicy food. What? Yeah. This fiery concoction starts with ramen noodles, another instant noodle, dumplings, cabbage, dukboki, fish cake, and then it's spice time. An overflowing scoop of their own fiery blend, topped with green onion, then set ablaze. We're supposed to mix it all together now, right? Yes, and start with the noodles first and give it more time for the duck to uh, get cooked. We've got that deadly spicy third level that's gonna make me run to the bathroom again in a second. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, let's take it down. Mmm. 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 It was sweet. Well, this one hits salty, right away. And I feel my throat closing. Yeah, is that normal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like fresh chilies in there. Like, it, Oh, yeah. This one is like immediate. Oh, I'm so proud of this place. Keep going. You can do it. We got a lot more to eat in here. Oh, my God. It's hurting so bad. Mmm. Just shut up. Just shut up. I mean, look at that. It's just, it's a normal kind of ramen noodle, but it's just delicious with this sauce. Yo, I taste the chili because it's cut like, it's like, like a 
Mmm. I can't even subtitle that. Oh, my <sighs> stomach is a turbulent storm of pain. Okay, did they make it extra spicy for us? No, they wouldn't. They said, look, we just go to level three. They wouldn't actually do a level four. They said level three is enough. Oh my god, I'm salivating. Is that because you're hungry? Should you eat more? <laughs> I'm so dizzy. Now we have to have some of these cakes. This is some duck pokey right here. <sighs> and this is the namesake of the shop, Mayun duck pokey. The worst part is the heat. Oh, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. The heat is gonna activate the spice even more. It's like you got a filler injection in your mouth as well. <laughs> we got fish cake. You like cake here? Oh what my god, my throat, my throat. Okay, I can't I'm getting, breathe. I'm getting, I'm getting some getting fish out. cake. No, I'm eating all this by myself. It's like I'm in Lama's class. Breathe. Now I know why. Oh, oh, oh. Good. How are you doing? I like that you're hanging in there. How are you continuously eating? I don't know. At some point, my parents will watch this video and finally say they're proud of me. And that's kind of- <laughs> Finally say they're proud of me. That's kind of what I'm endless, endlessly searching for in these videos. <clears throat> this is what Satan's toilet looks like after a, like, a long night. <laughs> it's delicious. It's full of that red pepper, chili, oh. pasty taste. All right, Korea, <clears throat> I'm impressed. If you guys want super, 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 super dumb spicy, Try this third place. Rydia, thank you so much for joining me today and teaching me about spice and that, look, if you're in Korea, try some spicy food because it's probably not gonna do that much to you. It's, you're gonna be fine, most likely. This video was made possible by One Trip. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south. From Hanoi to Saigon, you can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. A peace. Ah, that's okay, right? Let's just what? go. Do you want to eat a fourth meal? What's a fourth meal? Uh, Taco Bell. We will go